I would just like to start off this video by giving a sensitivity warning. What we will be talking about is not a joke and should not be taken lightly. This video is going to be talking about a serious topic that might frighten some people. So with that being said, if you have a pet dog, a pet bee, or have watched the bee movie, just know that you've been warned. My dog stepped on a bee. What? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph. And you guys, this has been a roller coaster of a trial. Seriously, since Amber Heard has taken the stand, I feel like I've been watching a soap opera. The amount of tears that she was shedding, I'm surprised that courtroom didn't turn into Atlantis. But the only thing is, there wasn't any tears. The videos about her fake tears and high school drama class level acting just go on and on and on. And what's even more funny is that some news companies have been exposed for photoshopping fake tears. So what exactly is an Amber Turd? Well, according to Urban Dictionary, a large walking, breathing pile of feces that was created by dark magic. She wears a human disguise of Amber Heard, but is really a living demonic turd. The most evil, abusive, nastiest actress ever. Taking a huge shit on your partner's side of the bed and leaving it for them to discover after an argument. Yeah, so now that you know a little bit about what an Amber Turd is, or at least according to Urban Dictionary, let's get into the topic of today's video. Amber Heard has lost the trial. As I'm filming this video, the jury hasn't reached a verdict, but regardless, Scamber Turd has lost his trial in the public eye a long time ago. I hate to be biased, but at this point in the trial, like, it is hard. It is very hard. Honestly, I don't know how Amber is going to go in public after this trial is over because everyone is going to be shitting on her. I don't know if I got any viewers in the Toronto area, but a couple years back, there was this one guy who went to a bunch of universities in Toronto with a large bucket of poop and threw it at people. Dead ass, this man went to one of the libraries that I usually went to with a bucket of poo and threw it at students. And his name is Pee Pee Poo Poo Man. Like, real shit. That's what people actually called him. So where I'm going with this is that after this trial is over, I would not be surprised to read a headline that says Amber Heard attacked by human feces. And for those who are confused about the whole Amber Turd thing, we're not saying it simply because it rhymes with turd and because she's stinky, but because in the trial it was revealed that after getting into an argument with Johnny Depp, she was so angry that she took a dump in his bed. And it gets even funnier because she tried to blame it on their four pound teacup Yorkie. The only problem is it looked like it could have been let out by the big show himself because that turd was massive. Like it was almost as big as those puppies themselves. And speaking of dogs, I think that I should mention that as part of their divorce settlement, Amber was awarded Johnny's dog. But Amber did keep his dog for long and instead gave it to her father who has a criminal history of abusing dogs. Yeah, that's right. Her father was arrested, convicted, and served jail time for animal cruelty by organizing a pit bull fight in the 80s. Now, although that was a long time ago, regardless, giving the dog of the man who she clearly hated to a person who has a history of abusing using dogs definitely raises some suspicions. So, Amber Turd has been caught lying nothing less than an infinite amount of times. Seriously, the amount of lies just keep on coming, which is so hard to believe any of the things she accuses Johnny of. Honestly, Pinocchio might just have to sue her for identity theft because these lies are getting out of hand. So, I want to start this video off with one of the very first lies from the trial and it actually involves Amber's lawyer, which I would say is even funnier because she's supposed to be a legal professional. So, this is Elaine, one of Amber's lawyers, and in her opening statement of the trial, she was talking about how in paparazzi pictures, you couldn't see any bruises on Amber's face. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This was what she used. Now, in theory, this would make sense as to why all the days she claimed she had bruises on her face, the public couldn't see any bruises on her face. But the thing is that makeup palette that Amber apparently used wasn't released until 2017, a year after the two of them divorced. And the people who exposed her for this were the actual people who made the palette. Cause I'm an international super spy. Damn, what a legendary way to be exposed by the company who actually made the palette that you're saying you use. Now you could argue that Amber didn't mean that specific palette, but the way she emphasized this is what Amber carried in her purse. This is what Amber carried in her purse. This was what she used. And her lawyer didn't say something like this, meaning that this is the actual palette. I mean, it's a blatant lie. And for this to have had happen in the beginning of the trial, it's not a good start. So a few weeks later, the whole conversation about the makeup palette was brought up again when Amber was on the stand looking like Dr. Evil himself. And this time she messed up pretty bad. I use a, like a, a bruise kit. Bruise kit? Hmm, that's interesting because look what comes up when you Google bruise kit. A makeup kit that is clearly used to make fake bruises. So soon after Amber said that, she corrected herself saying that it's actually a color correction kit, but she just calls it a bruise kit. But not a bruise kit, it's a theater makeup kit, a color correction kit, but I use, I called it my bruise kit. And I don't know much about makeup, but I looked on Twitter to see what people had to say about this, and they were saying that the way Amber was describing the order which she applied the kit. And if you want to cover up a bruise, um, you obviously put foundation first, concealer, and then on top of that, um, 
I use a, like a, a bruise kit. This is what her face will look like. So after that Freudian slip of her admitting to using a bruise kit, people were doing some digging and they found something absolutely shocking. Amber admitted this picture in a court as evidence of Johnny's addiction. You can see him passed out with ice cream spilled on his lap. But if you look in the bottom left corner, that looks a lot like a bruise kit. So does that mean that Amber faked bruises on her face? Well, a lot of people think so. Now another lie I want to share, which is kind of a big one and the reason why people are calling Amber a gold digger has to do with charity money. Yeah, Scamber Turd was low enough to lie about donating money to charity so that she could look good on television. So back in 2017, a divorce settlement was reached that would award Amber Heard with $7 million. Amber agreed to donate half of that money to a children's hospital and the other half to ACLU. So if Few years back, Amber was on a talk show where she said that she already did donate the seven million, like as in past tense. Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital. Furthermore, the judge from the UK wife beater libel case said that donating seven million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger. Now what's interesting is that in this current trial going on right now, it was revealed that Amber did not in fact donate the money to ACLU. How much has Ms. Heard paid directly to the ACLU? Um, I, that would be $350,000 paid directly. So it's fair to say that she has not donated $3.5 million as of today to the ACLU, true? Sure. And even after this, she maintains saying that she did. And here's where things get really stinky for her. Camille Vasquez, one of Johnny's lawyers, had Amber under cross-examination, and this is where Amber revealed that she did in fact lie about donating the money. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but do I the don't. Ms. Heard... I don't use it synonymously. Bro, is Amber dumb? Donated, which is past tense of donate, means already have given money. And pledge means making a promise to do something. Amber's double standards are really showing because she says that donating and pledge are the same thing, but not hitting and punching. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I'm not sitting here about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Johnny. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. Amber screwed up real bad because by revealing that she did not donate the money, she admitted to perjury by lying under oath in the UK. And because of this, Amber could face police investigation for perjury, meaning that she could be banned from the UK entirely. Yes, that is right. The UK might just get herd immunity. Also, speaking of which, as of now, Amber is being investigated for committing perjury in Australia. According to the New York Post, Heard allegedly said no on her immigration form when asked if she needed to declare any animals. So in order for Amber to win this case, she just had to prove that Johnny Depp abused her. Amber has been discussing the various times that Johnny allegedly physically her, which left her bruising, a broken nose, and other damages. But the internet has been digging and questioning how truthful her claims really are. Amber Heard claims that just before this, she was beaten by Johnny Depp. He pushed, hit, and knelt on her back. Amber Heard a week after Johnny Depp allegedly broke her nose. No swelling, no bruises. Now here are a few more photos from a photo shoot back on December 30th, 2015. I want you to observe these pictures and tell me if you can see any signs of injury on Amber's face or body. Now why I'm asking this is because Amber claims that not too long before this trip, she was so bad that she had two black eyes, a broken nose, bust a lip, bruised ribs. But the clothing designer part of the shoot made an Instagram post and look what it says. No makeup, hair, or styling needed. Now isn't that interesting? Also, I want you to take a look at these two photos Amber took and showed us evidence of the trial of her bruised face. Amber claims that these two photos are from the same night but are different and the only difference is that a light was turned on. However, Camille questions Amber because the light is clearly on in both photos. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? Uh, no, that's incorrect. I didn't touch it. What's funny about this is that when you overlap the two photos, they literally are a perfect fit. Like, come on, you really expect us to believe that you took two separate photos using the exact same camera angle, zoom, and position your head and face the exact same way? Camille suspected that Amber edited these photos and slightly raised the saturation to bring out any minor redness. And look how the original photo looks when I raise the saturation. Identical. Now the fact that Amber not only edited a photo, but lied about editing a photo, it hurts her credibility. And who's to say that her other bruises aren't edited either? So Amber has done some very questionable things. We've had what people say looks like her snorting 
hook up her nose or something else to make her cry. It's just been a complete mess. Just imagine on the last day of trial, Borat himself comes on the stand and it's revealed this entire thing has been a prank or a social experiment. Honestly, it would not be too much of a surprise. So before we wrap this up, I want to share with you guys some of the entertaining slip ups that Amber and her lawyers have had in court. To begin, we had a time when one of Amber's lawyers asked about Johnny Depp's missing fingertip injury and then objected his own question. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on one of his well, fingers. Uh, rejection, Here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. Bro, this was only a few days after the makeup company exposed Amber's other lawyer about the makeup palette. Amber probably wished for a better lawyer, but ended up getting a lawyer from Wish instead. Now, another time Amber got exposed was when she lied on the stand about not being a fan of Johnny. I knew who he was. I wasn't familiar, you know, I wasn't a fan of his work. I wasn't familiar with him. Were you a fan of Johnny's growing up? Of, I mean, who isn't a fan of Johnny's? It's, that's a given, you know, I've, He's been um, a, a, you know, a cultural icon and a talented actor for since I can remember. And the next one is a Freudian slip and to be honest, kind of a big oopsie. Amber was talking about an altercation she had with Johnny when she accidentally revealed that she herself. And um, I was punching my head. You know, I'm repeatedly punching my head. That's what caused that bruise in my temple. And that slip up is huge because there's been many people who believe that those photos of Amber's with bruises on her face were from her hitting herself. Johnny is right handed, meaning that if he punched Amber, the bruise would probably be on the left side of her face. However, the pictures that have been shown show bruising on the right side of her face, which is interesting because Amber is right handed. And if she were to punch herself, well, the bruises would be on the right side of her face. And the last one, we go back to the dog pooing on the bed thing. Now, Amber says the reason the little dog pooped on Johnny's bed was because when it was younger, it consumed some of Johnny's wheat. She had eaten eaten uh, Johnny's weed when she was a puppy and had uh, control issues for her entire life. Okay, I don't really think how that works. Like, yes, temporarily, the dog might go through something. But to say because when it was a baby, it consumed weed and now has permanent issues, I mean, that just doesn't sound right. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna know what you guys think about this trial. Whose side are you on? Let me know why. Don't make it toxic in the comments. Let's seriously have a proper debate and hear each other's reasoning. So far, I will say that I, there has not been really any clear cut evidence of Johnny being the abuser. It honestly looks like the other way around. So on Friday, both of the parties made their closing statements, but the trial isn't over yet. It's scheduled to resume on Tuesday where we will likely hear what the jury decides. But regardless, as I said earlier, in the public eye, Scamber Turd has lost his trial a long time ago. And even though it's a defamation trial, I mean, who knows, maybe there'll be another trial, another a criminal investigation. I don't know. Will Amber Heard be banned from the UK, from Australia? Who knows? I'm curious to see that. We still got a lot more. Like once this trial's over, it will not be over if you know what I mean. And if you didn't enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway guys, it's officially gonna do it for this video. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Oh my God, I am sweaty, sweaty, sweaty.